On the 6th of April, the Minister of Higher Education and Training, Naleri Pando, held a youth summit at the Beacon Hill High School in Mitzelsplein, where she addressed the youth on the many opportunities available for them. In the recent weeks, we know that the Minister received a PhD in Education from the University of Pretoria. Now, Dr. Naleri Pando will be the keynote speaker here at the national launch of the Centres for Specialization here at Falls Bay College in Kailitsa. The Centres for Specialization gives young people from various FET colleges the opportunity to enter industries which will contribute to the country's economy and also reduce the unemployment rate among the youth. This is what the Minister had to say. For me, looking at each and every one of you, you give me such fantastic inspiration that indeed South Africa will be a great country. That if we just make sure that young people in our country enjoy good opportunities, we're going to build an absolutely brilliant South Africa together. So I'd like to say, on Howard Venn, Ungan Dinwan Angomso, keep on keeping on because that gets us to the goal. A lot of people have been working on this, as the program director said, including your predecessor, Minister Pandor, and many others. And I'm delighted that it has come to this, because the ultimate for us... Well, um, let me begin by saying that our National Development Plan, which is Vision 2030 of South Africa, has indicated that by 2030, we should be producing at least 30,000 artisans in South Africa. The reason they indicated that big number is that there's a huge gap for artisan skills in our country. So we had to think about what do we do in order to expand the numbers, but to have a program that trains in artisan areas in which our economy uh, needs skills. So we decided on what we've called centers of specialization. We identified 30 trades and occupations where there are huge jobs of num uh, numbers of jobs available as well as where there's a lack of enterprises. They have a contract. They know which employer they'll be going to. And it's a model that we want to develop for the future. This is why we started it on a rather small scale. We have 50 colleges, but we chose 26. We think we'll be successful from there to become a national program. The Centres of Specialisation is actually very, very important because it, it represents a model of training that blends your theoretical and part practical training at the college with workplace experience for the apprentice. Secondly, the apprentice is actually signed up by a company and comes to do his or her training at the institution. We're dealing with a major shortage um, of skills in our country and as we uh, share today, the apprentices are focusing, the, the centres of specialisation is focusing on the 13 priority trades. These are trades where there's a scarcity of skills. So I think it is actually very critical for our country. We, we don't, we have to stop importing skills into the country. And here's an opportunity to blend two things, which is afford young men and women who are training in these um, areas of, of apprenticeship training to become active citizens of our country, contribute to the economy with the necessary skills needed. Uh, I think it will guide the young person a lot. It will help you create a, gain a skill and a skill nobody can take from you. So you can eventually in the end start your own business from that. All I'm looking forward to is getting the best, is gaining the best skill that I can and be the best at where I am now. Many young students from various TVET colleges around the Western Cape can definitely benefit from the Centers for Specialization. For our city news, I'm Byron Lucas with my cameraman Bongani Tolani, Falls by College, Kailitsa.